Hello, this is Cake. I'm actually digging at the bottom of my now fully complete mushroom farm. The red one over there is done as well. It has its mushroom collection system completed. And over here I'm just finishing up the mushroom collection system quick. I'm actually going to completely dig out two levels below this bottommost block here. It's a collection block because it's straight across from the lava tube. Remember we put that dirt cube there so we remember not to knock that out because the lava would come out and kill me and my lovely diamond pick if I were to do that. Which would be funny for you guys, but... I'm on my last diamond pick. I had so many diamond related accidents. Oh, not even funny. Alright, as you can see I finished digging out the bottom. This, these are the collection things. This is the lava tube. And it's too high everywhere except for one square at the end over here which goes down into our delivery tunnel. These two cubes up here. The reason I put these two cubes here is because we want with the shaper room the water to travel evenly have no gaps so any mushrooms that land will get carried by it and we also want to stop right at that hole over there the reason we want to stop at that hole over there is because um, streams that keep going like if this was to be one shorter let it fall and keep going it would be slowed down the turn it fell on the other hand if I just pop another bucket here it won't be slowed down because that counts as a new stream so basically the important point to take is try to space things so that your stream stop when it's going down and you get to place a new one because that'll speed things up quite a bit All right. The reason for the cube in the corner is so that it does get the cover bridge of the entire room. Technically I could do that by placing multiple buckets, but I don't care to because nothing's going to be falling in this square. So it going into the stream right next to it isn't going to slow it down like with some other other parts of the delivery system. All right. So this is hitting me. It's taking me on the journey of my mushroom take. I go down, this continues onwards, reaches the end of this, I spaced it uh, s seven squares I believe. Oh, now I need to count. I spaced it one, which is the starting square, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it travels seven squares from the starting square. Prevent dead spots or to stop a water stream early if you don't want to make it go the full eight you can place a sign on the wall. Also I do need to slap a sign down here so that my whole drop tube isn't filled with water. And I think there's an off chance this will send me hurtling down the tube. I'm going to do it anyways. Yes! So this will stop the water here, but the it'll still drop the mushrooms through. Drop tube! What? Why am I running? My key was stuck. <laughs> Alright, so that's my drop tube. It's just a square of water at the bottom of a tube held up by a sign with an amusing message on it in my case. And because you hit water before you hit the ground, it saves you from damage. The way I managed it, because I'm always running through here, is I put a pressure plate, a stone one, not a wood one, so the mushroom wouldn't set it off here. Whenever I drop down there within a, a minute or two, mushrooms will start popping out and I'll get free mushrooms when I'm running back and forth. 
Another way you can do this instead of just standing on the plate, if you want to just have it going all the time, is to have a switch like this one. So pulling the lever down there sends off the continuous signal in this carrot. The pressure plate will only send it around once, so only a little mushroom. This is going to unload all the mushrooms in there. You see the redstone splashing every time the cart goes around. A couple mushrooms did get trapped. A couple haven't unloaded yet. I just want one to pop out. Come on. Give me some gas. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go! Boom! Fully automatic mushroom farm in working order. Let's run down to the delivery thing and see how much we can get. So in a minute, the mushrooms are going to start pouring out of here. There are two factors that we need to balance. Yay! Mushroom! 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 Mushroom. Awesome. There are two factors we need to balance, and I'm not worrying about this too much right now. My bowl is going to be so full of soup. <laughs> um, how fast? How fast mushrooms grow depends in part on how many squares they have to grow into. So if we were to leave it, yeah, yeah, if we were to leave it on all the time, the mushrooms would actually grow faster. But if we're just sitting here, we don't waste mushrooms doing that. If we're out and about, we do. Every mushroom that grows and pops out, if we just leave this on, we're not around. It's a mushroom that uh, takes us a lot longer to get using this method. Granted, I did time it, and even with it being on all the time and allowing the entire mushroom uh, buffer, I guess you could say, to expire, there's about one red and one brown every five minutes, which would be enough that every time you ran past it, with uh, items lasting five minutes, you'd get one of each mushroom, which would be enough to make a bowl. So every time you went past this, you'd get enough to make a bowl of soup, and that would be more than enough for most people. But I really want to be able to call down however many I want in short order. Right. I'm going to turn this off, and then uh, the mushrooms will actually still be coming for a min. Because some of them will still be traveling. So yeah, if your dreams were of getting 50 mushrooms instantly. Ooh, mushroom. Oh, I love this. There actually are some guides to pretty fast uh, mass grow. Mass harvest mushroom farms. And I'm going to... I'm going to actually link to one of them that I really like, and maybe even set this as a video response. And there's at least one other one that looks really nice aesthetically that I really like. Um, so I might set that as a video response too. Either way, I'll link to the dude. Well, dudes. Give him some traffic. Um, it isn't like I pulled this all out of my mind and I figured out how to do redstone wiring. figured out everything about mushrooms all by myself. I did do a lot of mushroom research, but it's like that saying about like people in the present being a midget, but they stand on the shoulders of the past, and the past is a giant. I did contribute quite a bit to this. If I hadn't, it wouldn't have been possible. But without the ideas that other people have had and the things they have built, I never would have had the inspiration or the or the knowledge in order to do this. 
what I really hope is that um, some of you build, not only build this, but build on it and build something really great. And if you do, or heck, even if you just copy the thing and you make it look nicer than my um, <laughs> my mushroom come temporary drop tube in front of the uh, the face that I just noticed looks like it has a dirt mustache. <laughs> Uh, even if you just make it look nice or something, you can set it as a video reply. I like giving people traffic when I can. It's not like I have a huge amount, but I like, there's a lot of people out there who make really amazing things and don't get the, uh, the attention they deserve. Anyways, subscribe if you like. More is coming down the pipe. Sorry it's taken so long. I did get distracted working on some other things. That's not the biggest one, but that's one of them. It's going to be a really nice tree when it's done. And... <clears throat> and I have been sick this last week, but things should be coming out of pace now. I'm actually going to do a challenge Let's Play, play from this guy um, named Etho. Etho Labs. You might have heard of him because he's really, really popular and famous with this complicated machinery stuff. And, um, I, I hope that'll be fun for everyone. That's just me running around being a dumbass. And I'll get, I'll get that up soon. I will be getting a thing about mob farms out soon because it's part of my clock mechanism. Ooh. Also, I'm considering what kind of staircase to put in. I figured out how to make a staircase out of note blocks with the pressure plates on some of them so it plays music still. Like, if I was to jump onto this, the middle one would play music because it's not covered, but the other one wouldn't. It's possible to hide all the wiring. You can have it have almost anything underneath for decoration, but that'll affect the music or nothing at all. What I'm thinking is I'll have two rows of these. Um, and probably each of the rows will have one space. And then underneath there'll be another row. And that way the top row can have all pressure plates on them. But it will look really nice. And then the bottom row will be the one actually making the music. And I think... Actually, instead of pressure plates, one of them will be empty and the other one will have a minecart track going up and down. But there are some other ideas I've been considering. I like the way this red wool works, looks against the obsidian. I like the way these half slab will look. And I can actually, if I want to, build underneath them so there's just a one square gap underneath and put lava inside or water and it will look cool. My problem with lava and the reason I actually took down the cool glowy eyes here and I'm gonna put in red ones like I put in blue ones over there is because lava sets things on fire that you wouldn't expect it to. <laughs> yeah, so I replaced all this wool and um I, while I was getting rid of the lava, I actually lost a diamond pick because I was, I was stupid. That's my only reason. So I'm going to need to get, get going, resource gathering, this and that and everything. But that's some of the things I'm working on, and that's what's coming down the pipe. Like I said, I, I really hope you, you enjoyed this idea, I hope you build it or you build on it. Um, if you build something like it and you film it, set it as a video reply, I'll give you some traffic, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks everybody!